Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Man of Destra 777, and we're back inside of Destiny here with the Festival of the Lost and your weekly reset for Tuesday, October 25th. 2016 let's take a look around you can see here that we've got of course all the awesome stuff going on for festival of Lost. that's going on october 25th to november 8th uh 2016 so we're going to take a look around see what's going on uh we're going to go visit over here we can see that there's a mission that you're going to go hit up over here you can see that it's decked out very much like it was last year, but we're going to go check and see what's going on with uh i believe it's our vendor over here yes over here we have Eva Levante. You can see that she's wearing some of the paper masks. We can wear some of that stuff. We're going to take a look around and see what is going on. In addition, the Reef and the Iron Temple are joining us. So the first thing you can do is visit people here in the tower, collect Festival to Lost Candy. So we're going to just start that. We aren't going to show you off the rest of that, but just check it out. You can de definitely check out some of these things that you can do. You can definitely go visit people. Um, in addition, just so you know, if you have the opportunity, you can actually purchase something from the Festival of the Lost collection. Um, from the Bungie store, you are able to pick up a sweet emblem, which is called Resurrectionist. I'm actually going to pick up my version of that now because it's pretty cool. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to take a look at that right now. And uh, yeah, we're, we're going to do the rest of this quest line a little bit later on tonight. I'm going to be streaming and checking that out. But we're also going to visit the Reef and uh, the Iron Temple today. So uh, through our, our missions, you can actually see that all those different vendors are lit up. We're going to go visit Lord Shax now because we want to make sure we actually get the main pieces of our weekly reset put together. So we're going to go ahead and visit Lord Shax. He's going to probably give us some candy as well as some other stuff. So we're going to get some of the candy there. But our weekly Crucible Bounty is going to be Supremacy. So we're going to want to make sure that we pick that up. Let's fly out to orbit. And check out everything. Oh, you know what? Hold on. We need to visit. We need to visit Eris. Let's see what Eris gives us this this year, because Eris usually gives us some crazy stuff. Let's see what she says. Oh yeah, tiny box of raisins. Can't wait. I've still got my illuminated raisins in my vault, so that's pretty cool. Can't wait to have my tiny box of raisins and add those two together. There might be something secret. We'll find out later on however let's check out everything else that is going on this week in destiny for your playing purposes other than the festival of the lost um, we're going to check out everything including the pvp including all of the different items and activities you can do as well as the nightfall this week let's see you can see here we've got the festival of the lost we already know a little bit about that we're going to go across from left to right first of all we've got our competitive multiplayer it is combined arms but in addition we We've got combined arms, which means all-out team warfare with vehicles, destroy the enemy, or you can do Rumble Supremacy, which actually sounds a lot of fun. Rumble Supremacy is definitely one of those things you want to check out because that's that's a unique game type that we haven't yet seen, and that'll work pretty well with your uh, with your weekly supremacy. Uh, from Lord Shax. The daily is going to be skirmish with a competitive multiplayer. The daily heroic is to send to the SIVA replication center and end the threat once for all. The SIVA crisis heroic playlist is going to feature solar burn, small arms, and fresh troops. That will get you your radiant treasure package as well as your legendary marks for the week. Uh, definitely one you can pretty well do with either Black Spindle or Yallerhorn or, say for example, Sleeper Simulant. Lots of really good options for the SIVA Crisis Heroic Playlist. Let's go into the Nightfall and check out what we've got going on there, and then we're going to go visit the other places so you can check out what's going on in those pieces. This week for the Nightfall Strike, it is going to feature, uh, it's going to feature the Dark Blade. That is what we're going to be going up against in the Dreadnought. We haven't done that in a little bit of time. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to check it out. We have Epic. Where heavily shielded and heavily aggressive enemies appear in greater numbers. Brawler, where guardian melee damage is greatly increased, which is pretty cool. Chaff, where player rage are is disabled. That's a little bit more annoying, especially for this particular nightfall. Match game, where enemy shields are resistant to all unmatched elemental damage. 
exposure where guardian shields are increased but do not replenish so we're gonna go find the dark blade it will be over there what i highly recommend that you do and what i like to, to do very often when I'm doing this is I bring all three of my swords because all three of them serve an excellent purpose when you are going up into this nightfall especially dark drinker the the different activities in the different rooms uh, on your way to the dark blade actually lend themselves well to the three swords so take those three swords take them into uh, the nightfall I highly recommend that you do that especially because then you can take care of match game very easily you can knock down enemy shields pretty quickly and you can use your primary to take care of the rest i'm actually going to be doing a solo nightfall later on this week i'm going to be adding that to my youtube rotation it might be a little bit later on today it might be tomorrow just looking at my schedule not quite sure yet but you can definitely check that out uh, i would really appreciate if you wanted to check that out in addition one of the things that i did not do uh, as we looked over to the reef we are going to visit the vestian outpost but of course you can also do the challenge of the elders build up very reputation as well as do some items here to get some different activities going on uh, you can do the challenge of the elders when you get your elder sigil um, the weekly uh, modifiers here are brawler super kill bonus which is actually pretty cool juggler so if those things together I would definitely look into doing something like I don't know use a blade dancer blade dancer would be a lot of fun to use that would be something that I would highly encourage uh, that you use and this week's bosses are going to feature uh, round one is the pilot servitor round two is the Val Arun with the add-ons of Cabal round three is going to be the Overmind Minotaur with the add-ons of Vex let's go over to the Vestian outpost and check that out then after we're done looking at the reef and looking around there we're gonna go over to the Iron Temple and end in that particular position so if you ever need help in doing the raid over in uh, the Wrath of the Machine, come check out my Twitch live streams. It's just twitch.tv slash manodestra777. I'm helping people out all this week. Uh, I will be on a lot more <laughs> than I was in the last week. Um, so we're going to be checking that out. Uh, I've got some pretty sweet loot that you uh, can only get from the hard mode, like the steel medulla. Uh, we have some of these spliced nanomania gloves and things like that like that really excited to have those very cool check out my twitch live streams if you're needing some help uh, stop by we have a really nice community as well as a nice discord community you can check that out and uh, meet some new people you know meet some new people if you are needing help with uh, some things in the raid now this is pretty cool because we haven't yet seen this you can see uh, that you can do some things here we're gonna see if Varix has anything else maybe it's just some decoration but it is is kind of interesting in case if you want to do that we've got our judgments package in addition you can always get uh, Petra Venge's Queen's Wrath uh, reputation up to a higher level uh, you can do her three bounties for the week here and you can get a package from her which will give you appropriate light level options we're gonna take a look around here see if there's anything extra maybe something over here in the secret compartment but right now it just looks like everything is decked out in uh, in the uh, Festival of the Lost, uh, basically decoration. I don't think that there's anything else going on here other than it's just decked out in it. It's still pretty cool, still pretty nice. If there's any other secrets or anything else like that, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll make sure that I put up videos of what's going on there. We're finally going to end over in the Iron Temple. We're going to take a look and see what else we need to do. Now, if there's anything else in this video that you'd like me to cover, if there's anything specific you'd like help with, leave something down in the comments section below. It lets me know that, first of all, the content that I'm bringing to you is something interesting and something that you find worthwhile. But the biggest thing is just if you're needing help or anything else like that, I try to get back to my comments as often as I can. Uh, I've gotten to the point now uh, where there's a lot more comments and so I want to make sure that I take some time and actually go over uh, things 
things if you're having struggles or problems I, and uh, like i said uh if you visit my twitch live streams i'm able to do that live you can ask me questions there but the comment section is always available for you if you are looking for that kind of thing so um i know that this week i'm really going to be looking at doing that rumble supremacy i can't wait till iron banner comes back because there are some different roles i want on some different guns uh as well as some different loot that i want to check out um, and we don't know when that is. I think it's going to probably be two weeks from now. But you can see here uh, in the Iron Temple, you can see that there is some pretty cool stuff going on. You can see that it's all decked out. We can see maybe that there are some different options and things available. I'm going to go take a look around, see if there's some different things you can do. Of course, you can always visit Tyra Karn, and she should have a different quest line for you. But this week, the Iron Lord artifacts that we're going to visit... Uh, we've got the Memory of Scory with a dis decent, row, decent roll, 74, 73 strength. Uh, when your super is full, nearby allies' super is recharged. This is one of my favorite artifacts to use. It's very good in the raid. It's very good in trials. Next up, we have Memory of Radagast with Discipline and Strength, 74, 74. Seven, that's actually a little bit better. This is a lot better roll than the memory of Radagast last week. The memory of Radagast last week, or not last week, two weeks ago. Um, this is a much better roll. I'm probably going to work and use an Iron Lord's Legacy here to pick that up. And we've also got memory of Gellion, which grants a detailed radar. Radar persists when sighting with primary enemy, uh, weapons. Uh, this is a very bad roll. Strength of 110, I would definitely skip that. If you're going to be looking for different artifacts this week, these two are the ones you're going to want to pick up. They are much better rolls than the ones that they had in the past. And finally, let's visit Shiro 4 for his different bounties in case if you still need to get Thorn or if you want to do some things there uh, with the uh, Vanguard Scout uh, reputation. Let's check it out. We've got uh complete patrols on uh in the plague lands i've already got one for mine last week defeat fallen very easy i'm gonna pick that up complete servitor encounters in the archon's forge and complete vandals encounters in the archon's forge so some pretty good ones this week defeat fallen can't go wrong with that one uh and uh p complete patrols in the plague lands these two very easy this week these two may be a little bit harder guys but that is everything we've got for this week's weekly reset as well as taking a look at the festival of the lost we're going to be showing you some of that stuff off on live uh, on my twitch live streams again come check that out say hi uh, subscribe for more destiny content as well as uh, leave comments down below we look forward to seeing you guys if you like something in this video hit the like button it lets me know that the content that i'm bringing to you is something that you'll like so really appreciate it guys hope you have a great week in destiny hope you have a great fest of the lost too so we're going to end up over here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time in the universe of destiny.